All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? This is the review for Custom Firmware 660 Pro C, as you can obviously see. Now, you may be realizing why there's a different kind of audio change in my videos and things like that. Well, I'm using my newly built computer, and I have a high-definition audio recorder, so that's pretty good for me. It's also my recording software for my music, which I'm working on. So, uh, go check out some of my music if you want to see what I'm talking about. Uh, just acoustic, alternative, things like that. But anyways, back to the point here. Uh, I'm going to go over the uh, firmware. So, here we are. System settings, nothing really different. The pro settings, if you have the um, the XMB control installed, plugins and all that fun jazz, here it is right here. So, uh, like you can go and check out all your configurations and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, anyways, uh, but that's pretty much all said and done there. PlayStation Network works on the PSPs, uh, PSN connection. Uh, the music unlimited power is finally here sends me channels that also works totally fine as well as the digital comics wherever the fuck it is there it is right there uh... video playback is amazing uh... system storage let's go take a look here uh... iso's and cso's work much better on this firmware just saying as well as emulators don't tend to crash as much anymore um, if you are experiencing crashing uh... be sure that you only have this one firmware installed and that one firmware only uh, by doing this to resolve the problem, take every single firmware you ever used, for an example, like I have God, ME, and Pro on here, so go to your ME launcher or installer and uninstall the ME, uninstall the God, and also uninstall the Pro, and then in reinstall which one you want, just to make sure those modules aren't overlapping and can causing a problem with your PlayStation Portable system and its defects that you are experiencing. So hitting select, taking a look at the VSH, uh, excuse me, taking a look at the VSH menu now. CPU clock goes up to 333 over 166 overclocked. Your USB device can be memory stick. Your flash is zero, one, two, three, and the UMD disc, which I don't have because I have a PSP Go. Fancy that, isn't it? Anyways, UMD ISO mode. You got the M33 driver, the Sony NP9660 default driver and the Inferno driver which is created by the Pro Team. I leave mine at M33 because it works just fine but Inferno will work for European ISOs that aren't able to be ran on the M33 driver because the M33 is designed for American ones unfortunately but who the fuck cares because we find ways around that. So let's go take a look at the recovery menu now. Toggle USB and recovery menu like always. You can run the recovery eboot um, if you come down to configuration, you will see the ISO mode, language, fake region, recovery font, UXB, USB device, which is the USB device in the VSH menu, hide the MAC address, which is highly recommended, skip game boot, skip your Sony logo on startup, use custom update, update server, which is useful, protect flash and USB device mount, use HTML viewer custom save location, slim colors for PSP 1000 if you have the permanent custom firmware installed on there using the CIPL flasher. Use the version text and SE plugins which you can change the version of your firmware to say like 990 or whatever you want it to say. Um, use the USB version text and SE plugins which is renaming your USB device. I'd pick PNG um, the pick 0 and pick 1 which is basically the um, picks of um, the games in your game column or however you like to say it. Uh, it's in your flash zero and it's for display um, a background behind the wave if you want to hide those. Prevent hibernation deletion for PSB Go and charge battery when USB is plugged in. Going back now, let's look at the advanced settings. XMB plugin, game plugin, pops plugins, no DRM engine, memory stick speed up I change that to always hide custom firmware files from game block analog input in game allow non latin ISO file name which is the European ISOs Ta -da. look at that old plugin support for PSP Go Inferno ISO Kaj um, combined with the Sony drivers uh, Inferno cache size in megabytes Inferno cache number and Inferno Cache Policy and Force High Memory Layout. 
CPU speed, we already went over that. Plugins, you know what those are. Registry hacks, the basic ones. Activate WMA, activate flash, delete hibernation, and swap the zero or the uh, circle button for the X buttons. Uh, shut down device, suspend device, reset device, and reset VSH. And that's pretty much it. So there is your recovery menu and your VSH menu. And the run up on custom firmware 6.60 Pro C. And uh, so, yeah, so there's the review. If you choose to install this firmware, you will see that video on my channel as well, and I will put a link to that video underneath this one of upload. So thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Twitter, DeathRain333. Go ahead and follow that. It's the same as my YouTube name. Check out my Facebook. Links are on my channel, as well as my website and my blog account on Google Blog Forms, on the Blogger Forms. And I will talk to you guys later with the latest updates in your computer-savvy environment. Take it easy, and I will talk to you all later.